I'm Scott Adam Miller. It's the 17th of November, 2023. This is my vlog of daily life living in Latin America. And today we're here in Cochabamba, Bol Bolivia, once again. And I'm going to do another walk around the city. I'm going through a different part of the city than I have done on the previous walk where I went around the park. And sorry, it is super windy this afternoon. So the audio is going to be a bit rough. So I'm going to talk some. I'm on the lavalier. Hopefully that helps. But uh, probably going to have to play some music or have it be a little bit quiet because of the incredible amount of wind noise. But we're starting from the Hupper Mall here. So if you want to grab Google Maps and see where we are in the city, I'm heading south, I believe, with the Hupper Mall on my left, uh, and I'm going to be heading uh, towards the Globos. So I'm going to show that in a second, but Globos is a, a chain of these really popular restaurants with like every single possible thing you could imagine all in one place. Right here, and they're all over the city. Uh, so we're going to head to some more interesting areas so you can see what more of the general city looks like. We're going to get to all that right after the bump. So we're gonna be doing a bit more of a quiet uh, walk tour today with the the heavy walking and the, the really thin air. And I know you guys have said just, it's great to not talk as much, so that's what I'm doing today. And I actually didn't record an intro, so I'm doing that later. Uh, but it's a beautiful walk through downtown Cochabamba. We are going to explore some of the most iconic parks and streets and circles. And we're gonna see a ton of restaurants and shopping areas and the main uh, kind of strip at the end. So definitely watch the whole thing because because it's going to actually get better and better. Uh, we start off in one of the more boring areas. We're going to see the river and just whole huge swaths of the city. This was a lot of fun and pretty exhausting. Um, and I really hope that you guys enjoy it. And uh, let's get right into it. I'm told the Globos has been a staple of the city for more than 50 years. And it's really interesting looking. I've not had a chance to eat there yet. Got a cleaning equipment company there. You can see restaurants down the street there and some nice houses there. Oh. This is a really nice looking place here. Hopefully the sun doesn't blow this out too much. Apartments over top of a really nice restaurant.
as I mentioned in the park earlier, a lot of the fountains around the town are currently off because of the drought. See what a beautiful circle this is. We're gonna be heading across that bridge there. All right, I'm standing on the bridge over the river. Now, this is a pretty funny thing that they call the river because I don't know how it qualifies as a river in any way, but here we go. You can see what it's like here. Now, because of the current drought, the river is very, very small. It is normally get, gets quite a bit more water than this. This is, but, but not a ton. But you can see that it comes up a little bit farther along the sides. But it smells pretty badly out here because the water treatment plant at the city upriver has failed. And so there's actually garbage coming down the river. That's not normal. Normally it's clean. Now it's not. So it's causing a little bit of problems here. And uh, so behind me, where I just came from, is the north side of the city. The, the river is considered the dividing part, point between the north and the south zones of the city. So we've been in the north, which is more affluent and more exclusive. So you can see some of the landmarks there. Yeah, another gorgeous bridge over there going across the river. That Mercat, uh, which sounds like Meerkat, uh, is actually, I believe, the cinema, if I'm not mistaken. To give you a little bit of look of the skyline here with the river, and we're gonna work our way over to the south side at this beautiful circle and head into the south part of the city. I have some cool urban art along here. Some girls who are lost. Got some amazing buildings over here. This is an interesting sidewalk. I don't know if you can tell. It's, uh, it's got steps, but it also has ramps. So I keep going down on these ramps. I've never seen a sidewalk like this before. It's very different. I'm gonna turn around and show it. So you can see there's a spot where you could come down on a bicycle or a skateboard or something, but then you've got steps as you go up. That's unique. I've not seen that before. Got a new building going up there. Tons of new everywhere. This is the Plaza Quintanilla that we're standing at. I try not to get run over. And it's actually a, a giant circle in the middle to the point where, it, so this is a four lane circle going around it, but the, the, the center of the circle is actually a giant park. So there's lots of people actually in there. I mean, I don't know about a lot, but there's like a dozen people in there and it's a really beautiful park here in a, in a main part of the city. But we're gonna walk around the outside. We're actually heading to Salamanca, which is one of the most important streets in the city. We're gonna go explore that way as we head towards more of the parks. You can see one of the entrances into the center. Great park. Very small little side street coming onto the circle. A lot of roads come onto this circle. What are these? Very cute cosmetic shop.
All right, from the circle where you're heading, on to Salamanca. This is a key road in the city, and this is where it originates, to the best of my knowledge. Cool apartment building there. And of course, all throughout Latin America, you have American pyramid schemes that prey on people that think American businesses are going to be honest. I think you can tell from the video and the walk, this is a very livable city. One of the, I like this, one of the things I really look for when I'm visiting cities is, you know, what is it, what does real life look like? What is, what does it take to actually live in the city? Can you, can you live in the city? So much in the US, you know, you find a beautiful city, but the reality is no one can afford to live in it. And so the downtown is all mansions or, businesses and people have to commute in for everything but cities like this with loads of great restaurants and great little communities and little shops around every corner realistically you can live in any of the neighborhoods that you like here all very approachable even the very best ones are potentially affordable you may find one or two spots that are out of reach but in general everything in the city is an option and you have loads of great neighborhoods with different character and different food oh what a cute little panaderia it smells you can't you can't tell because i don't have smell of vision on this gopro hoping for the gopro 13 to add that but uh it smells fantastic at that panaderia and and i don't really have a great sense of smell in general i have a lot of nasal damage just one of those things about me, not from doing drugs or anything like that, I just have very bad sinuses. But it's, I don't tend to smell things. A lot of people will be like, oh, do you smell that? No, no, that was fantastic smelling bread. If I notice it, it's, it's gotta be good. All right, here's one of the parks I wanted to get to. As you can tell, the parks are close together. I'm going from park to park really quickly. Lots of circles in this city. standing next to a car, so I'm unlikely to get clipped, but they're coming fast and close. All right, I'm sneaking across. Here we go. <laughs> he kind of laughed at me as I went. What a nice park. This is just a fantastic area of the city. I'm really liking this. Got some great artwork on that building. I hope you can see it, it's so far away. Great colors. I think that's the direction we're gonna head, but I'm gonna do what you're supposed to do here in the city. I'm gonna sit on one of these park benches and I'm gonna catch my breath because I just ran and walked a bit. I'm doing fine, uh, but uh, I'm gonna take a moment to relax check my map, catch a little bit of air, let the camera cool down just a little bit. I think we're gonna be heading forward, but I'm looking for more parks and more interesting parts of the city to show you. I'm glad you're able to come along on this. I'm really happy we're able to do this. This is, this is a good one. I like, uh, I like being able to explore like this. Okay, I was right. We are gonna be continuing down Salamanca here, down to the Plaza Cologne, but I wanted to show someone over here is making orange juice. And this is a popular thing on the streets as they make fresh juice all over. And uh, we're going to be trying to cross over here. 
There's a lot of, oh, this is gorgeous. A lot of fruit and fruit juices available right out on the street. I don't carry any cash. I've actually, so I mentioned this, but it's been another day. I have not yet hit an ATM. I have no cash while I'm here. I'm operating completely from credit card, which is not generally advised. But remember, I'm not here on vacation. And I'm not here to do touristy stuff. I am getting the videos that I can for you, but uh, but I'm here for work. So there's, there's a lot of things I'm just foregoing. Boy, that's a cute, some construction going on, but neat little spot. So we're back on Salamanca. And uh, so I'm trying to keep things simple. I'm operating just from credit card as much as I can on this trip, possibly completely. This is a cool building, by the way. Quite a few cool buildings over here. We all appreciate how much traffic I dodge for you. <laughs> uh, yeah. This is definitely a really nice part of the city. This feels older. It definitely is than where I'm staying on the Northern Park. But it's more in the middle of things. I could see staying down here really easily. Where are they? There's so many cute restaurants and little shopping areas. We've been walking for miles and it's just loads of really nice stuff. few high rises. So this place directly in front of me is Coco Latte. And uh, there's one of those right next to my apartment. And I've seen a few of them around the city. I don't know if it's just a couple or it's like really popular, but it's definitely a chain of chocolate shops around the city. This is it right here that I'm walking past. Oh, look at their desserts. Interesting local snacks. Some of those are very similar to what we bought in the grocery store on the first day. Not being filled on the street. I like that. A lot of quinoa here. If you're a quinoa fan, this is the region it comes from. There is tons out here. Another coffee shop across the way. Ooh. Wow. <laughs> Alfadores are popular here. They are a hard to describe cook. Okay, this is an interesting HP Epson ad. Uh, they're 
somewhere between a cookie and a cake. When we get them in Nicaragua, they are a cookie for sure. And when we get them here in the city, they're almost like a cake. They're really big and uh, quite good. Oh, the road does some weird stuff here. But the park we're heading to is right in front of us. We can see it. It'll be there in a second. Make sure I'm not gonna get run over here. We have arrived at the Plaza Cologne. Give you a real quick view here. Some of the old buildings, an idea of where we are. And uh, I'm gonna stop the video as I run over this. Okay, real quick, another Globos. I told you there was locations around the city. And uh, here is another one. We're gonna be heading over there in just a second. All right, let's explore this plaza. This is just fantastic. This is, this is very Epcot right here. Now, there's, you can see that there would be fountains. Imagine how good this would be. We've got some repair going on down here. So it's worth the walk just for this. All right, let's go over the bridge. Notice this all lights up at night. I bet this is amazing. And then this would be another working fountain over here. This is some brave pigeons. Look at the pigeons. Okay, I'm going to give you a lay of the land. Behind me is the Plaza Cologne. That's where we just were, the, the beautiful garden with the, that I just showed you. And then before we got there, I showed you Globos. So this is the corner with the Globos. You can see a little bit more of it. In front of me, and I'm going to turn the camera around for you in a second, is the famous walkway of, of Cochabamba. This is El Prado, and this is more expensive. Uh, if you're looking for apartments or anything, this is about as upscale as you can get in the city. It's older, uh, but this is classic very upscale, very middle of everything Cochabamba. So we're going to go straight up from the very south end. If you're looking at a map, you can see El Prado. It is the long, narrow park through the city. We're starting from the very south end. That is the turnaround behind me. There's no park behind me. And we're going to head north all the way through El Prado. I hope the camera makes it. So we're going to, without further ado, here we go. Turning around and showing you the long, narrow park. And we will zip back and forth and try to show off as much as we can. But here we go. Tuesday may sound like an American restaurant Tuesdays, Ruby Tuesdays, and it is in fact a knockoff. Okay. 
gorgeous gazebo in the middle of the city, middle of the Prado. It is so windy out here. That is a tiny little bar. For those who know the shopping in Nicaragua, that is a mini so. It's closed right at the moment, but right in between, it's just a little one, nothing like we have, but there's a mini so. Some great looking restaurants down here. I'm told this would remind you of a cheesecake factory. I'm do my best to show. So that is a Cold Stone ice cream. It looks exactly like Cold Stone Creamery, but it's not called Creamery. I'm pretty sure it's a knockoff. I'm told it's very popular here. I think we're able to cross, giving it a try. This really shows the degree of knockoffs. That is a Sabor Chipotle. So the font looks like Chipotle from the United States. Same menu, but it is not, not the Chipotle you know. But I hear it's good. I wanna point out that is a Uari dealer. Uh, I've got all Uwari stuff in my apartment down here, and it is excellent. Really like their designs. Mostly that was a note for myself for later, when I'm like, who was that that I liked? This is a big intersection that I'm walking through.
the park seems to be guiding us here. I'll let it show us the way. The Prado would definitely be more walkable if it was easier to get across all these little side streets. This Castor Ace looks really good. Castor Ace? I have no idea what it is. That is a cool looking apartment building. A lot of people out walking, working working in the parks. There's a Burger King. A cute little structure. And very cool apartments in this part of the city. I don't know if they have the veggie burger here. I have not had time to go to a Burger King and check. I've not seen it on the signs, but easily I would not. So this brings us to the very north end of the Prado.
another giant fountain that is currently off. And that is a bridge going over to the north side of the city. That's where I'm going to be headed. What an amazing walk that was through the city today. I, I had a lot of fun doing that. I hope you guys enjoyed that walk. That was some good parks, good bit of the city. Remember, this is a city only of about one and a half million, a little bit less. So this is not that huge. This is, especially with all this, this dense high rises, there's a lot of population in a small area. And so when you look at it spread out in the valley, yeah, it, it's a big city, but it's not an unmanageable city. And we just walked through a significant portion of it, got a nice, like check the map, everything. I laid everything out so that you can see. I'm not gonna put up the map on this one. I'm so struggling to get edits done and get the uploads done. I just can't do it, but I, I laid it all out. So you should be able to look at a map and see where we are really easily throughout the walk and have an idea if there's a neighborhood you're interested in or wanna know more about or wanna come check out yourself, you'll be able to do that. And uh, with that, thanks for joining me. Like and subscribe if you get a chance. And would like to support the channel, you can buy me a coffee at buymeacoffee.com slash Scott Allen Miller. That comes directly to me and helps make trips like this possible. This is a work trip, but other trips like this can be made possible by buying me a coffee. And uh, as always, you know, tell friends and family, let people know about this. I've been saying we're going to be doing more travel. It's not just a show about Nicaragua. People don't have to just be like, what's Nicaragua? It could be like, I want to learn more about Central America or Latin America in general, South America. I'm going to be coming more and more to South America. Now we know how easy it is to get down here. And now that I have a little bit more time, just everything's kind of coming together. So we're going to be doing a lot more of this. Let them know about the show. Get them involved. Post on the Reddits, the Facebooks, all those things. Share the love. And I will see all of you who live in my little GoPro box from really sunny, beautiful Cochabamba, Bolivia, tomorrow.